Panasonic actually went ahead and confirmed the rumors in releasing the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II and also the Mark II X. In this video, I will be diving into some details as to why you should take up the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II in 2023 opposed to other mirrorless cameras within that class such as the Sony a7 IV and the Sony a7R5. Also, the Canon EOS R6. Let me dive right into this video, Siobhan Beckford style. Even though Panasonic announced the Lumix S5 Mark II and the Lumix S5 Mark II X, the Lumix S5 Mark II X won't be available for sale until May of this year. So currently, we only have the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II readily available for purchasing. Unfortunately, I don't have a Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II available to do this video, but I've watched a lot of videos, read a lot of blog posts, read a lot of highlights, watched stuff on social media to gather enough information to come to these conclusions on why you should get the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II in 2023. I wasn't as fortunate as those other creators to be sent over to Japan to test the Lumix S5 Mark II before launch, but I am graceful to be in this era where technology is so advanced and I will be able to buy a camera as amazing as the Lumix S5 Mark II in a couple of weeks for such an amazing price point oh and p.s this video is shot on the original lumix s5 So reason number one and probably the biggest reason as to why you should get the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II in 2023 is the autofocus. Panasonic has been using contrast detect autofocus for years and it hasn't been the best autofocus system compared to competitions which Canon and Sony have to offer. But in 2023 with the Lumix S5 Mark II, Panasonic has introduced phase detect autofocus and it is phenomenal. It has set the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II ahead of its competitors as it relates to autofocus and everything else that the camera has to offer. A lot of creators were comparing it to the autofocus performance of the Sony a7 IV and the Sony a7 R5 and also the Canon EOS R6. They were saying it's on par as the Sony a7 IV, some of them even say it was better and some of them were saying it's even better than the autofocus on the Canon EOS R6. Now that says a lot as Panasonic is coming a far way in focus. I mean, I use an S5, I know how the autofocus is and I'm coming from the Lumix G7. So I know exactly the pain we Lumix shooters have to face whenever we are using a Panasonic camera. But in this new camera, the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II, it's a game changer. This is their first swing at adding phase detection in their mirrorless line of hybrid cameras and it is almost flawless. It's it's perfect in my eyes, I don't know about you, but for a first try, they did a pretty darn good job. Job well done Panasonic, good job on the autofocus within the Lumix S5 Mark II. If you're finding this video interesting so far, don't be shy. Hit the subscribe button down below and also the like button so the algorithm can favor my videos and you can be notified whenever I release another video like this. Let's continue. The next reason to take up this camera in 2023 is its 6K recording capabilities internally. The first Lumix S5 was able to record up to 5.9K, I think I'll leave something up here, but that was only achievable with using the Atomos Ninja 5 external recorder. Now with the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II, you can get up to 6K 30 frames per second internally in the camera no external recorders and this is a game changer you don't need an external recorder now to get 6k videos that is amazing so if you're working on a 4k project and you need that extra room to crop in on a 
footage or to use warp stabilization in your editing software you now have 6k which you can downscale to 4k and utilize more of the cropping and save in on details and this is an amazing feature especially in 2023 where we are seeing cameras with 8k video recording capabilities the lumix s5 mark ii is providing 6k especially at this price point Another feature that is separating this camera way ahead of its competitors is its ability to do unlimited recording. This means you can record a video now in all resolutions and video modes unlimited unless your battery of course dies or your SD card fills up. But you can record unlimited in any video mode 4K, 6K, 1080p without having to worry about the camera stopping the recording or even overheating because this camera I will go on to that point in the future it has built-in cooling system so you don't have to worry about overheating so that is phenomenal unlimited recording you don't have to worry about your camera stopping your recording before you finish whatever it is that you're capturing if you're worrying about battery you have the external grip you can power this camera via the usb port and you can also insert a dummy battery and send direct power into the camera via that dummy battery if you're not going to power it via the usb type c port so unlimited recording and you can also attach an external storage device and connect it via the USB-C cable to record unlimitedly if you don't have an SD card with a large enough capacity. So phenomenal unlimited recording in all video modes now on the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. Next point is image stabilization. And we already know that Panasonic is by far the best mirrorless camera with in-body image stabilization across the board. And in the Lumix S5 Mark II, they even stepped it up a notch with improving the internal image stabilization on this camera. The in-body image stabilization from the camera alone is superb and it's a cut above the rest of other mirrorless cameras on the market even without an image stabilizing lens now paired with an image stabilizing lens you can get up to six stops of image stabilization and you can get five stops of image stabilization in the camera itself from the body only this camera it technically makes having a gimbal useless it is so smooth and then you have other image stabilization options such as electronic image stabilization and boost image stabilization which is other options apart from the traditional image stabilization that lumix cameras have to offer so again phenomenal The next feature is its improved electronic viewfinder. Now I already love the electronic viewfinder on my Panasonic Lumix S5, the original one, but I heard they boost up the electronic viewfinder on the Lumix S5 Mark II by adding a higher resolution. I myself, I love the original viewfinder on the Lumix S5, so I can imagine the quality that the Lumix S5 Mark II will be offering. I'm dying to see one for myself so I can experience the quality firsthand, but as I said, based on the responses I've seen from other creators and the details and specs sheet it is better than the original S5 and also better than what the competition within this price range has to offer. Now this is a small feature but it's worth mentioning. 
The Lumix S5 Mark II uses the same batteries as the original Lumix S5. So if you have an old S5 lying around, well, why am I calling that camera old? It was released like two years ago. If you have the original S5 with batteries lying around, they will work in the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. So you can save a lot on batteries and extra power source if you had batteries from your previous Lumix S5. And I kind of hinted on this feature before. Yes, another feature is the internal cooling system built into the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. And they did it in a pretty unique and stealth way. There's no bulging of an external feature or any additional ports or making the camera bigger. It's almost identical to the Panasonic Lumix S5 as it relates to size. How they innovated this is to put the cooling system right in front of the electronic viewfinder at the top of the camera. So they found a unique way to implement all the vents and the cooling components into that little area where the electronic viewfinder sits without compromising the size or any components within the camera and this is brilliant engineering. Let's hope the fans work out over the long term and don't attract light dust or anything so they start making noise similar to what you would find in a laptop but yeah. And now the biggest point I think of all why you should take up the Panasonic Lumix S5 in 2023 compared to any other camera within the spec range and this is the price. The Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II is going for only $2,000 USD. Just like the S5 when it just came out, the Lumix S5 Mark II is going for the same price. Now compared to the Sony equivalent, the Sony a7 IV or the Canon EOS R6, you be the judge. So the Panasonic Lumix S5 hybrid camera 2023, latest specs Panasonic has to offer, only 2000 USD. This is the same price the original S5 was selling for when it just came out. You're getting internal 6K recording, an active cooling system, the best image stabilization within a hybrid mirrorless camera, phase detect autofocus from Panasonic. What more could we need for $2000? With this price compared to its Sony equivalent, the Sony a7 IV, you can get the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II and have change remaining to go get a lens to pair with that camera. So what do you guys think? Are all these specs able to win your heart over to getting the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. If you enjoyed this content and find it informative, hit that like button down there so the algorithm can like me some more. I'm Siobhan Beckford and stay tuned for more videos like these. I'm signing out. Thank you.